everybody, it's Laura at Vegan RV, and tonight we are going to make, I say we like Kevin's going to do it, <laughs> I'm going to make the spicy garlic stir fry that I demoed at the RV thing. And um, it'll be a little bit different because I've got different vegetables that I'm going to use. There I used just broccoli, but... Um, I'm even gonna use my own sheet that I made and gave out to everybody. So, um, let's dive in. First, I'm gonna fry up some tofu that I've had pressing for quite a while, so it's real super firm. This is just half a pound. I use the other half for something else, so I'm gonna dice that up and fry it in my non-stick pan. All right, so this is my non-stick pan, and I'm just gonna Throw the tofu in here, all diced up. Also, I will put a link for the tofu press that I use down below so you can check that out. I like it better than the other ones because the tofu doesn't blow out, at least when you use a whole brick. So, um, here we go. I just have it on 300. I'm going to let it sit there for a while, so I will be back. Okay, now that it's um, been browning a little bit, I'm going to just season it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and stir it around a little bit. I'm not very good at this. I'm too impatient to actually make sure they all get browned the same all around. So, I'll just, you know, do what I do. Now I'm going to leave them sit for another few minutes. Give them another stir. I'm not super picky about our tofu, so I'm probably just going to let this go a couple more minutes and call it good. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and start making the sauce. Here is everything that I need for the sauce. I've got Bragg's here. You can use tamari or soy sauce, and I've got maple syrup. You could also use agave if you wanted, or even skip it. And tahini, which I use uh, in place of sesame oil. Uh, three cloves of garlic here. And this is the um, broth I'm going to use. Um, it's a little salty, but um, it's just easier. And red pepper flakes. So let's get to that. Alright, so I'm just going to add a little bit of um, this broth. I actually never mix this up as strong as it says. Um, it says that one tablespoon equals one cup. And I just, that's probably a quarter, quarter to half a teaspoon um, a broth it's very flavorful so you just don't need what it calls for on the package then we need two tablespoons of the brags Uh, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and I'm not going to put a whole tablespoon in there. Uh, I'm going to put whatever's left in this and call it good. One tablespoon of tahini. I'm not going to measure this because I don't feel like... There we go. That seems like about right. And I'm going to chop up these garlic cloves. Put 
those in there. And I'm gonna do about um, a half a teaspoon of these um, red pepper flakes. They're brand new, so they might be they might be a little uh, a little strong. We'll see. That's why I didn't go with the whole teaspoon of them. All right, great. I'm just mixing this all up, and uh, we'll be using that in a little while. Now I'm gonna need about six cups of vegetables. You can. <laughs> You can accomplish that however you want to. Um, you can make it all broccoli. You can get um, a bag of frozen stir fry mix. Um, what I'm going to do is, I went to the Asian market, so I have a lot of interesting things that I can put in there. Um, I'm gonna use a purple carrot and some red bell pepper. I also have some baby bok choy. Use that. And I, this is some kind of bok choy. I don't know what kind it is. Um, anyway, we're going to have some of that. And then also, um, Napa cabbage usually only comes in massive, so. Uh, we'll use some of that to get that uh, a little bit smaller for my fridge. And all that, like, uh, bok choy is really, really good for you. Um, and this is going to be colorful and really tasty. One thing I forgot to say about bok choy is it's usually a little bit sandy. So I'm going to cut these up and soak them in some water. And, um, and then rinse them and drain them and then use them. These are going to take a while to cook down. I still have a bunch more over here, so...
I want these greens to cook down before I put in the sauce, so I hope that happened. Okay, so these are starting to settle down. to the sauce. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of cornstarch to the remaining sauce. About to put the tofu in. A lot of this stuff you just use your judgment. Time to eat. Uh, here's mine, Kevin's, and I'm about to put some of um, this on. I don't even know how you say this, Gomezio. I don't know. Anyway, it's um, it's toasted sesame seeds um, with some nori and a little bit of sea salt. And it's really good on basically any Asian dish. So I'll put that all over the top. 